Hey cute friends, it's Mickey B. I did uh, eight transactions tonight and I wanted to quickly go over them because I told you if I did go out and do anything I would quickly go over what, which transactions that I did. This first transaction I got two boxes of the tampons. I got one sparkling water. One of Actually this is two of the dental flosses and two Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is on sale for 40% off and they have a dollar off of any Wet n Wild pro uh, one dollar off of any Wet n Wild product. So that means these rang up for 59 cents. I had a dollar off coupon so I got 41 cents over from each of these. I just noticed though on this receipt this uh, Tampax rang up for 5.21 when it should have been $3.99 like this one. So this one rang up for $5.21. So I'm going to have to go back and exchange it. All the pricing on it said $3.99, so I don't know how that happened. But nonetheless, it somehow worked because I was using seven different $9 up rewards. So in any case, <clears throat> it added up for some reason. So I don't know. This was $1.99, $1.99. It should have been. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This would have been nine, ten, twenty. And then I have the overage, about eighty cents in overage, which made it nine something, and left me a subtotal of thirty six cents. So even though it's showing five twenty one, I feel like it worked in that whole nine dollars that I was adding. But nonetheless, I got two of the tampons, one water. I got both of the dental flosses here and two of the wet and wild here. Second transaction, I did the same thing that I did last night. I got two of these toothbrushes, got one more soda, and I got a caramel right there on the receipt for 33 cents. But I let them have it. I don't when I um I know all the cashiers at the store, so I always give them the caramels. Third transaction, I got two of the Crest rinses. This is the one liter size. These are pretty, the, the big ones. I got four nail polishes on this one. I got a Mentos gum and one dental floss on this one. After I subtracted out all the coupons, the subtotal was three cents. And I gave them the $9 up reward and the tax. I forgot to tell you the subtotal on the second transaction was 31 cents. And I got a subtotal of 36 cents on the first transaction. So let's go to the fourth one. These are not in the order that I did it, but the fourth transaction I did two of the Crest Pro Health rinses. I did a sparkling water. Subtotal was 26 cents. And this is the one where I used the two $4 rewards. In total, I had seven nine dollar up rewards and two four dollar up rewards. So this was a transaction that I used those on. So I got it to twenty six cents, gave them the two four dollars, and I paid the tax. So that was a total of ninety eight cents for those three that I actually paid in cash. The fifth transaction again, the two toothbrushes right here, another sparkling water, same as I did down there, same thing. Subtotal here was 28 cents. Gave them the $9 up reward. Tax was 108. This one was 31 cents because this was a regular card with no savings on it. Well, bronze savings, where it says right here, means you haven't uh, accrued any percentage off yet. That's just regular price. And this is silver savings. So if you can see that silver savings so this was 10 percent off that's why it was two twenty eight or three pennies cheaper so transaction number six i got two of the crest rinses one tam packs one sparkling water two nail polishes and two oral glides this one's a little bigger because I used my $9 up reward plus, remember that $4 Catalina I showed you that I had? $4 off of $20. So I wanted to get to a minimum of $20 so I could use that $4. And 
and after all the coupons were deducted my subtotal was 31 cents all of the coupons and my uh, four dollars and nine dollar my nine dollar up reward my four dollar four dollar Catalina I'm rushing okay transaction number seven I uh, was a duplicate somewhat of this one it's the two rinses the tampons which also rang up incorrectly I see here for 521 and then the two dental flosses here and two nail polishes so the only thing different in this deal was I did not have the sparkling water like I had over there. This one subtotal was 72 cents because I also added one of those little port pocket tissues which I found out that I did not need and I returned it for 35 cents. So it would have been roughly about 31 cents the same once I, I got it not ha would have been but it was at the end of the day. 72 cents minus the 31 cents that I refunded here. And the last and final transaction was two toothbrushes, a bottle of water. This subtotal was 16 cents because this was on my 20% card. So the gold savings, you get 20% off of everything, which made it a little less. So this one was 916. Gave them the $9 up reward. So basically, the moral of the story is everything here was for the most part free minus 20 or 30 cents so there you go I didn't go over in too much detail because I figured the video that I did yesterday gave you a lot of the detail that would fill in the blanks for you for these so there you go you guys hope you guys are slowly catching on for those who want to get into this these videos that I'm doing are really for the most part for beginners to give you guys an idea of how to piece together the the products and which pro which deals to look out for when you're shopping so that you can maximize your money these are opportunities where like I really like these things so whenever I needed to, uh, to fill something in that was kinda of my first choice and the best part of it is getting the overage from these um, nail polishes 40 cents 41 cents per bottle so every two transactions I was 80 cents in overage which in most cases paid for that minus a few, you know, 10 or 11 cents. So that, those are some ways of how you can work it. And I'll see you in the next video. You guys have a great day.